here's what we're thinking. I'm gonna mount the, the line lock right here. That'll give us a direct shot from the master cylinder up to the line lock and then the line down to the distribution block here. So let's get this camera put in place and uh, we'll gently close the hood and see what what kind of clearance issues we may or may not have. All right, as you can see, we've got a cell phone set up here with a camera pointing right at the line lock. And we're just gonna close the hood here and then we'll check the footage on the phone and see exactly, exactly what it looks like for clearance. And find out whether or not we've got a good, good position. So let's give that a shot. clearance now. So that's where we're going to put it. Let's lock it down and start connecting some lines. sneak into a tight area here I pulled out a right angle drill which is going to allow me to sneak right in up close to the fender here so let's get these holes drilled and then we can get that mounted up module installed and bolted down permanently here it's time to make some some new brake lines uh, but what, what I want to do before actually disconnecting any lines on the car right now is I'm going to make my first brake line and that'll be from the master cylinder to the line lock what I have here is just a piece of household electrical wire it's 14 gauge copper wire um, but I've already pre pre bent it here into the shape to match the new line I still have to cut it to length here, so I'm just gonna take a Sharpie. We'll mark it to the length that we want it to be. I can cut that off. And now I have the shape that I need my new, my new line to be. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to the coil of brake line We'll cut one the length, we'll flare it, and we're ready to install.
now that we've got our line ready to go, we've got a wrench all set to go to take the old line out. One thing I do want to do before actually installing this line is check and see if there's any debris. You'll notice just a little bit of a little bit of stuff left over from when we made the line. Just small little things. I want to make sure there's going to be nothing in there that could contaminate the line or inhibit the seal. Any of these little bit little bitty parts can get in our way. So the flare looks good. This flare looks good, nice and clean. And then as a final step, I'm just going to take some compressed air here and blow through the line and get out any any crud that may have built up in there. Now that I've got a clean line, I'm ready to install that. So let's head over to the car here and what we've done here is we've uh, laid out a plastic bag uh, under the master cylinder, piled a couple of rags on it. I've got one rag here wrapped around the line so any fluid that might leak down and follow the line will get trapped just to try to keep it, keep it off the paint. Uh, so we don't have any problems there. So at this point, we are ready to go. in line is only finger tight right now and that's good you'll see that the angles here are off just a little bit but we can do some hand manipulation now to get things lined up jog back this way and down this way a little too much tension for me right now so we're gonna lessen some of this pressure that looks pretty good Right there, things are lined up. Slide this over and in. And there we go. So, car's up in the air. I'm going to climb down underneath so I can get on that fitting to be able to loosen it up. There's also a little clip that holds the two brake lines together. We'll pop that loose while we're down there and then we'll be able to pull out this old line and uh, start fitting up a new one. All right, so here I am under the car. I don't know if you can see me or not, but this is the fitting right here that we're going to go after. So I just get my wrench on there and a little bit of finagling. We'll Break that loose. Up off this little spring clip. excess brake fluid that may have gotten on the paint. I'll come down here with a clean rag in a second. And let's make a new line.
we got the line slid down in place. Make some minor adjustments here. And get this laid out, make sure everything is good. And it looks like looks like things are actually sitting sitting pretty good. So what we'll do now is we're gonna hold that right there. We'll get the bottom one snugged up. Uh, get that clip in place. We'll come back up, make sure there's no more fine tuning that needs to be done. And then we will go through and tighten up all the connections. Okay, got the brakes all bled. Um, we did double check all of our connections here. Uh, there are no leaks. Uh, there weren't any leaks, which is pretty amazing on the first time around. Everything's holding. Well, we still have to road test it, but we're going to take care of a few things while the car is still up in the air.